Today we're going to talk about a couple of the different types of fuel delivery systems, both aftermarket and OEM. Most of you at home already know that the carburetor was the original mode of getting the right amount of fuel into the combustion chamber. As the throttle opens a butterfly valve, air is drawn into the carb's throat, moving through a venturi area which accelerates it. That air moving quickly through the throat pulls fuel from a jet in the fuel bowl. The fuel is atomized into an explosive vapor composed of about 14 parts air to one part gas. As the fuel is consumed, a float in the bowl lowers, opening a tapered needle valve which allows the fuel to be replenished. As the bowl refills, the float is moved upward which shuts off the fuel supply to the bowl. Well, that's the basics on how a carburetor works, no matter the design or the size. Now, you can have one barrel carbs or two barrel, like this one here that came off of an early 80s small block Ford. And of course, you can have the four barrel like this Holly here, which is the most common in the aftermarket. Now, the number of barrels or Venturis and their size is dependent on the fuel and air needs of a particular engine. Now, a lot of times the manufacturers would put a smaller carb on an engine than it could handle, and they either did that to limit the amount of fuel it burned, to lower the power output, or to lower the emissions. This was really popular in the 70s during the fuel crisis and into the 80s as well when the EPA started cracking down on emissions. This is a mechanical fuel pump. It just bolts into the side of the block or the timing cover, and this little arm here rides on a lobe on the crankshaft which sends the fuel up to the carburetor using this diaphragm here. What's cool about this is it provides the exact amount of fuel pressure needed at the carburetor, which is around five to seven PSI. Doesn't matter what the power output is, it's gonna keep a low pressure like that. As the power level goes up though, you need a higher volume pump. The volume goes up, but that pressure level stays the same. Another cool thing about carburetors, like this four barrel here especially, is if you want to upgrade your carburetor, most have the same dimensions, like this ring here where the air cleaner goes, and then also the mounting flange here, the bolt pattern on it as well, so you can just unbolt your carburetor and bolt on a bigger one. Now even though many manufacturers have moved away from carburetors, they're still very popular in the aftermarket. Now, when manufacturers stopped using carburetors, they moved on to electronic fuel injection systems, and that's a completely different animal. We don't have time to get into that today, so that's gonna have to wait until another time. 